Hello Leo, welcome to my channel. My name is Victoria. This is Radiant Moon Tarot. Today we're bringing forth messages from your spirit guides, angels, past loved ones, your spiritual soul tribe, and we're just going to see what they have to say for you, uh, what messages that you need to hear. This is a timeless reading, so whenever this reading finds you is exactly when it is meant to. So let's get right into it. Let's get started. Oh, beautiful message from Archangel Michael. Your vibration is rising. Okay, this is your time to shine. We've got a little spark in the air for you. You are ascending spiritually, physically, emotionally. You are healing and you are really embracing this beautiful energy. This is a time of great spiritual growth for you. You are evolving to occupy a higher energetic frequency. A lot of people are experiencing this shift, and I feel for you guys that there's just a little bit of extra magic in the air for you with this. So this is a great time to continue on your spiritual journey. Um, you're probably receiving some downloads. Maybe you're getting some messages in the form of dreams or you see other signs, symbols and synchronicities around you. You may even just have a slightly different awareness of the world around you. This can be about you. Um, this can be you know, about um, environments that you're in, your relationships. There's just something because something's shifting in you. You don't see things the same way as you used to. Maybe you're a little bit more aware. Maybe you find that you're a little bit more intuitive than you used to be. Or you're trusting your intuition more than you used to instead of second guessing yourself. You may even have other senses that are really being activated at this time. Maybe you kind of have a little bit of um, premonitions, okay? Or maybe you're experiencing some deja vu, all right? Whatever that is for you, there's certainly this element of there's something different about you and continue on your path. We have self-discipline coming in here with card number 41. Now, this is numerological guidance for you. So fours are about building a foundation, stability, security, okay, especially within you, within your home life, within your career life, whatever makes you feel solid and stable. Ones are about new beginnings, taking initiative, taking action, getting started, but they are also about making those improvements. So you've already built a really strong spiritual foundation for yourself. You've built a strong foundation in life for yourself, and now is time to take things up to the next level. But it may require a little bit of self-discipline, okay? Um, setting a Setting some intentions for yourself and then following through. So, for example, you might um, you might decide, okay, I'm going to um, I'm going to make a commitment to myself to spend you know at least ten minutes a day in meditation. So, what does that look like? Is it in the morning? Is it the afternoon? Is it the evening? What time of day is right for you? What kind of meditations do you want to do? And that's just one example, okay? But you might have some goals or something that you've got in mind that you want to do, that some changes that you want to make within you. It doesn't have to be spiritual, okay? Um, you know, but whatever it is that you're looking to achieve, whatever you've got in mind, Okay, remember, a little bit of self-discipline does go a long way to achieving those things, okay? So the time is now, my friends. Put off any kind of procrastination about anything that you desire and take some steps forward, okay, to really put something in fast forward movement there. All right, we have recognition and reward, beautiful. Triumph, beautiful. And we have um, financial and material changes, okay. So very interesting energy in that, okay. I think for some of you, you've got some you've got some ambitions, you've got some goals, you've got something that you've been working towards. But on some level, you may feel as though you're not quite where you want to be. You've had some successes. You've been recognized for your, you know, for who you are, what you bring to the table and whatever area of your life is most prevalent for you right now. But there's just something here where, you know, maybe there's some worries, doubts, 
Um, maybe you're looking to make some change to better your financial circumstances. You may have been hit with um, some extra bills and things like that uh, recently, okay? And, you know, you have the ability here because your vibe is high. You have an extra boost to be able to magically make things happen. However, you need to focus on where you want to go. There's that self-discipline, right? Focus on where you want to go, where you want to get to, what gives you, what lights that fire in your belly, what are you passionate about, what do you know you need to do differently, what do you know you need to change, okay? Focus on the solutions, focus on that finish line, that goal that you've got in mind. Be open to different things um, opening up for you along your path, okay? But we don't want to get stuck in a rut, because I feel here that you have certainly gotten to a point where you're feeling good on some level, but you're just not quite where you want to be. All right. Some of you may have also suffered some losses. Okay. Or you've really had to, um, you know, do a little bit of deep dive to figure out why there's certain blocks or restrictions in your world. Okay. But I feel like here with the recognition and reward, okay, I feel like here that there's been some successes in your life. You've had some, you've learned some things, you've been creating things in your world. Um, you've, you know, probably on some level, maybe partnered up with some people or you've learned things from people or maybe you have the ability to teach and guide and lead other people. This could certainly help propel you forward, right? Especially if you've got some talents, um, you know, to like manage people or to train people, that kind of thing. Um, so I think there that there's a great creative energy that is going on around you, okay? And there's certainly something here that you want or something that you're moving towards, right? But quite often this is, so this is the triumph card, right? This is the chariot card, number seven. Um, and this is a card of victory and success, of triumph over um, obstacles, of leapfrogging forward, right? Of getting um, getting to where you want to go it is also one of forward movement um, of all kinds. Okay, so moving forward, right? And especially on your spiritual journey, you've learned a lot here. Okay, you've recognized a lot of things. You're feeling pretty good, but you're not quite there yet. And in the in this particular energy, it's important to take the initiative, just like we see with the self-discipline, take some initiative to move yourself forward a little bit more. Your destiny is opening up for you. This is a card of destiny. It's also one where things are coming into alignment for you. Seven is a very spiritual number, um, but seven can also be a lucky number as well. So you're headed in the right direction. You're headed in the right path. Trust the forces that are around you. Trust yourself for your decisions that you make and for the steps that you take. But there are challenges. And we've got the financial and material changes. This is the five of pentacles. And when we have this, okay, it shows that you may have some setbacks. You may have some things that unexpectedly um, cost you time, energy, money. You may experience some losses somewhere in your world, but you have the ability to turn things around. If something is not where you want it to be, a commitment, a paycheck, time, whatever that happens to be for you, you, by the actions that you take and by your willpower, your determination, and your ability to see into the future will help you overcome and fly over this hurdle, this obstacle. You may need to make some changes somewhere in your world, right? Make some time for yourself or, you know, perhaps that, you know, you find that you're trying to manifest some things into your world, especially in regards to your money, your home, right? Something, you know, you want to get paid what you're worth kind of thing. Um, maybe there's just some things that you are learning as well. Five of Pentacles, the Pentacles energy can be about our knowledge um, and our commitment level to things there as well. Things in our um, material world that we need. So this can be a time of profound change for you and you have the ability to make change happen. Sometimes when we get in this particular energy, the five of, uh, five of pentacles, it brings out some stubborn energy, right? It's like, there's a 
better path forward. There's a different way of doing things. There's help and resources that are at your disposal. But sometimes we do need to be willing to look for them and to embrace them or even ask for help somewhere along the way all right and so you know in this particular energy you're being encouraged to turn a negative into a positive to turn a block an obstacle a mountain in your path into um, something to learn from and with that chariot energy there you can do it okay because you've got that goal and this requires that self-discipline, right? To focus on moving fast it, moving past it, moving forward, okay? Achieving your success. And the thing is in this energy here, this triumph energy rules all. So trust that you're on the right path, even if you're not where you want to be right now. And as we raise our vibration, as we um, grow spiritually, we do quite often hit bumps in the road. We do quite often have to face our fears. We do quite often have to recognize, you know, some issues and, and some challenges and some old energies that we've been clinging on to. The hurts, the past, things like that. So, you know, we do find these things on our journey and the best way to overcome them is to deal with them, to recognize them and to work through them rather than ignore them. Because sometimes in the five of pentacles, we do ignore something, right? It's like we turn our back to the window, all right? And, you know, so we don't want to ignore things, sweep things under the rug. We want to deal with them as they come up because ultimately this provides growth and this propels us forward. We've got the Page of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, and we've got the Hanged Man. Let it go. Okay, something there you need to let go of in the bottom of the deck. We've got Five of Cups. Okay, so we've got um, Material World there, and we also have Emotional World here as well. Okay, so yes, times are tough times are tough. Sometimes it may feel as though friends are few or opportunities have dried up. Sometimes we do need to process some emotions to, in order to give us the ability to turn around and see the positive aspects or see the future. For some of you, you are processing some life lessons here as you evolve on your journey. And you know, we do need to get those emotions out as well. But when we have the Five of Cups, this is a reminder that there may be some sadness. There may be some um, difficulties that you faced, whether in the here and the now or whether in your past that still influences your today. But you have the ability to turn things around, to see the bright side, to look at the solutions, to welcome in new opportunities into your life that bring more balance, harmony, stability, and security to you. But we need to embrace this chariot energy, this triumph energy. In order to do that, we also need to let things go, right? The hanged man. When we release, we surrender. We give our problems away. Say, here you go. You know what? Here you go, spirit, angels, guides. Can you please help me? Can you take my... Can you please just alleviate the burden just for a little bit? Can you help? Can you show me the way? And you get that with the hanged man. So it's important to, you know, to really do that, right? Because we're always faced with resistance. We're always faced with blocks and obstacles. And it's how we deal with it that actually can really be our path to success. Some people hit an obstacle and they just stay stuck. But I don't feel that that's the case for you here. I feel as though you're being shown the way. I feel as though you are being invited to open up your heart, open up your um, your mind and to embrace a different path forward. The hanged man does bring about some patient energy. It does bring about a pause, but it's in those pauses where we gain wisdom and enlightenment. It's also where we look at things from a different perspective. Life throws you a lemon. How do you make lemonade? And that's what the hangman can help you do sometimes. 
But I do feel here as though for some of you that there is something that you're learning, okay, and especially if you're on a spiritual pathway, all right, the Page of Pentacles can certainly be this, you know, you're on the quest for some knowledge, right? You're learning things, you're cracking open books, you're watching videos, you know, you're learning things about yourself, you're learning things about your, about your spiritual world, right? And it's like, oh, I'm just so thirsty for knowledge, the Page of Pentacles, really very much a bookwormy kind of energy. But I feel as though in this energy that there is a life lesson learned, but there's also a lot of other things learned. You're like a sponge, okay? You actually also know more than you give yourself credit for. But the Page of Pentacles can also be about, the, about prosperity blossoming in your life as well. And especially with the Three of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles here, you know, I do feel like there's an undercurrent here if there's just something here where... You just, you want a little bit more than what you've got right now. A better house, a better car, a better job, a better paycheck, right? That kind of thing. And it's not a greedy energy. It's just, I just don't want to worry, right? I just want to know that the money is coming in and that I can, you know, pay for all of the necessities, but I can also have a little bit extra and have some fun. Embrace the inner child of the page of pentacles and have a little bit of fun. And I, so I feel here that you are manifesting something into your world, a new job, a better place to live, um, whatever that looks like to you. And the Page of Pentacles shows that you are very much on your pathway. The Queen of Wands is coming out here, Spirit, reminding you that, you know, you do, you have all of the tools that you need. Queen of Wands is a very independent spirit, independent energy, right? It's like, yes, I'm trusting myself and being honest with myself about what I want. And then I am really embracing my inner magic. The Queens are always open and ready to receive. And that's important to be in, right? The Hanged Man opening you up, okay? In the flow, receiving things, messages, news, guidance, money, opportunity, whatever that looks like to you. So we do have this big energy here where you're really being reminded to be open. Be open to possibilities. Be open to change. Be open to recognize something from a different perspective, right? When we shift our perspective, we open up a whole world of possibilities that we had never really imagined before. But the Queen of Wands Trust in yourself, okay? Be honest and truthful with yourself what you really want. Because whatever it is that you want, you have the ability to manifest it now. But it is important that we do shift our perspective and shift our energy here because those fives can ha get you a little bit stuck. They can be an energy of lack, focusing on what you don't have rather than what you can potentially get, right? Instead of abundance, we focus on that lack energy, right? That I don't have, I'll never do, I'll never find. Instead, I can do it. Just like the chariot card. I can do it. I will find it. I will achieve it. So tell that to yourself. Whatever it is you want, you can achieve it. But yeah, I do feel a big, big shift here for you guys, especially that hanged man, clarity, enlightenment, maybe a little epiphany headed your way at some point. But patience is the key. Allow the energy, the good and the bad, to flow, okay? And it's important to recognize all of your feelings and emotions, right? All of your, not necessarily all your thoughts, because we've got tens of thousands of them a day, um, but the ones that stick right? It's important to recognize those and process those as you go along your journey. So let's get some last messages here. We've got card number four, mm -hmm. beauty. I have a form which is divine. I allow what is within to shine. Now that's a little bit of a magical spell card, but you can also use that as an affirmation. Live your life from the inside out. Project your beautiful energy to the outside world and that you can change your environment. But this is also all about you. There's a lot of beauty, you've got a lot of gifts, you've got a lot of talent, you've got a lot to offer the world and it's time to let yourself shine. 
It is also card number four, and remember that self-discipline number four. We also have card number eight, destiny. The chariot card is one of destiny. All that I shall need to know as I walk shall now be shown. Again, you are on the right track. You are on the right path. You are following your destiny. Okay, sometimes it doesn't feel like we're where we should be. It's like, really, this is why I'm here? Or this is what I've been sent here to do? Yep, absolutely. Sometimes we're on a difficult path. Sometimes we're on an easy one. All right, but we all get those little things in life where we're like, man, oh man, like, can't I just like, you know, have a little fun? But there's something magical that's opening up for you. You are on your destined path. Things are happening exactly how they're meant to. And with this being card number eight, this is manifestation, things, um, you're attracting things into your world. This is also about recognizing your unlimited potential. Number eight is that infinity symbol. So recognize your potential for change, to overcome, to grow, and then let the magic happen, allow that to happen. With that, with that hanged man energy, know when to, um, know when to take a step back, and know when to take action. And it's in that energy of discernment that we really do feel empowered and strong. So I'm gonna leave that there for you guys. I think there's something happening coming in your life, a big shift happening, and it's kind of exciting. So I'll leave that there, but I thank you so much for watching. If there was something here for you, please do hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys next time.